Hello and welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorials channel. In this video, I will teach you how to create a cross account dashboard in AWS CloudWatch. Let's get started. I am logged into the two different AWS management console accounts with different IAM users. These two are totally different accounts and I want to show you how you can get CloudWatch logs and other metrics from one account to another. The left side AWS management console is going to be used as a monitoring account and the right side AWS management console account is going to be used as a source account from which the CloudWatch stuff will be shared to the monitoring account so that we can get the centralized dashboard. To start the configuration, go to the monitoring account and go to the CloudWatch service. You can simply click on this CloudWatch if you see it listed here under the recently visited section or you can search on the services and then click on it after you see it listed here. This is my CloudWatch dashboard. I maximize it uh, so that it becomes easier to see everything out here. Then go to the bottom part of the CloudWatch uh, left side bar and uh, click on the settings. Now you need to configure monitoring here. In the monitoring account configuration, you can go through the details or you can directly click on the configure button. Select the data that you want to get in the monitoring. Scroll down a bit and hold on to the list source accounts because here you will need to add the source account ID. The source account ID may be of different types, the different account ID or organization paths or organization's ID that will share data with this monitoring account. So go to the source account, note down or copy the ID, come back to the monitoring account and paste the ID on the box. If you want to add multiple account IDs or multiple account ID paths of the AWS organization, you should uh, separate them with a comma. Other settings are good with the default, so click on the configure button. Now you have successfully enabled the monitoring account. You will need to link the configuration to the source account next. For this, you can either click on this button or you can click this one. Here in the link your source account options, uh, you need to determine how you want to link your source accounts. If you want to link the AWS organization account, you should leave it selected. Download the cloud formation template, go to the source account, create a stack and upload the cloud formation template. We will cover it in a separate video. So for now, let's go with any account option, which means the individual source account, which uh, don't belong to any AWS organization. Again, you have two recommendations to link the source accounts. The one is by downloading the cloud formation template, going to the source account, creating a stack and uploading the cloud formation template there and uh, the other is by clicking on the copy URL button, going to the source account and pasting the link on the new tab there. So move on to the source account. Go to the CloudWatch by just clicking on this or by searching on the services uh, search box. Then go to the settings, scroll down all the way to the bottom. You will see the share your CloudWatch data. To configure it, you can either click the configure button or you can simply open a new tab and paste the URL that you just copied from the monitoring account. You don't need to modify anything here as everything is correctly set up already. So click on the link button, type confirm and click on the confirm button. Okay, here we can see the source account is linked. To view the monitoring account details, you can click on this box. To add more monitoring account, you can click on the add monitoring account box or button. That's all you need to do. If you get any error or any issue getting the CloudWatch logs uh, metrics, you need to come back here and configure the sharing appropriately. 
Now go to the monitoring account, create the CloudWatch dashboard and check if you can get the shared data from the source account. On the monitoring account, go to the CloudWatch, click on the dashboard, create a dashboard, give a name to the dashboard. and click on the create dashboard button then add a new widget the data source type is cloudwatch let's create a widget for the matrix data type first and we will add the logs widget in the dashboard later let's leave the line widget type selected and click on the next button here under the browse section and in the search box type or paste the source account id Choose the region of the matrix you want to monitor from the drop down box. Oops, the source account is lost. So retype or repaste the source account ID and hit enter. Now you should be able to see the CloudWatch stops here. Select the item you want to include on the dashboard. For example, the usage by AWS resources, which in total has 39 services in my case. Select all or some of the services that will be included in the monitoring and click on the create widget button. Okay, cool. Now you can monitor the services of another account to this account. If you want to add other services, you can simply edit it and add or remove them to be displayed in a graph or line format. Before we wrap up, let's add one more widget for logs. This is my source account and this is one of the CloudWatch log groups dashboard. As you can see, it has only one log stream named test-ls-nb. And if I click on this, we can see there are only two lines of logs that I created them before starting this lab just for the demonstration purpose. Minimizing it, I go back to the monitoring account, click on the plus icon to add a widget. Select the data type to logs, widget type to log table as logs look well formatted on the tabular format and click on the next button. Wait for some time till it creates a log insights. Once the log insights is created, click on this drop down box to select the log. Here you should see the log group name uh, from the source account. But if you don't see any log uh, group name from the source account, wait for a few minutes, uh, like uh, 4 to 5 minutes and try again. In my case, it's already listed here. So I select it and click on the create widget button. Here we get the logs from the source account. Okay guys, this is how we can create cross account dashboards in uh, AWS CloudWatch. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next video. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.